All right, everybody. Welcome. I am trying really hard to get to 1,000 subs. That's definitely like my next goal um, with all of this. So there's a lot of ways that you can engage with the channel and get notified as to when new videos are coming up. Some of those ways are Facebook and Twitter and also Discord. And then if you want to donate because you like the content and want to keep seeing more, there's also PayPal. But that's kind of the idea of getting to a thousand subs. Um, but I just want to thank everybody for watching. And if you are really enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And that's pretty much it. So let's get on to today's video. Final Fantasy VI. So I know before I was playing the um, the PlayStation version, but that one wouldn't let me save for some reason. I think my um, my memory card might be corrupted on that, so I need to get a new memory card. But um, so I'm gonna be playing the Game Boy Advance version. I'm in the exact same spot, doing having done the exact same things. Um, so we're gonna play this version now. So we're trying to escape from Narsh. There are people after us because we were working for the Empire. Um, and we are going to be getting some items and fighting some battles. Ooh, where at's are we easy? We're gonna do this by section, so this one might be a little bit longer than the last one. Um, or maybe it'll be short. It just depends on when we get to the next section. Or whenever I decide the next section is over. So we'll just keep on going until... Until I decide that. Sleeping bag, okay. Back attack. So am I... In, is she in the back row? She must be in the back row now. She's doing less damage and she's taking less damage as well. But she has magic for right now. Uh, he wrenched himself. Okay. I could probably speed up the battles now. Now that that, like, timed battle is over. Yeah. Lower the number the faster. And... Okay, so now there are potions and high potions instead of tonics and potions. So I'll just use one of those just to keep her alive. Because we're probably going to run into a lot of battles here. I don't think that really sped anything up. So it didn't speed it up much. That's a hidden door, but I don't think I can do anything with it. But I'm pretty sure I just have to keep going this way. There she is! Oh no! We fall down. She fell unconscious. My sweet little magic user. <laughs> With this slave crown, you'll be all mine. <laughs> so this is what happened to her when she was under the control of the
Good, good. Burn them all to a crisp. So they used her magic to create the Magitek armor. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. The time has come for us to claim our rightful domination over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. Hurrah! Long live Emperor Gestalt! So we're just passed out. Passed out in the mine. Took you long enough. Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume? Treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching for the world over for relics. Searching the world over for relics of the past. It's Locke. We'll keep his- we'll keep everybody's names. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Huh, semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference. Anyway, is there something you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. You don't mean... The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. People are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Alright, so you want me to get her out of Narsh? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. Now we've got her. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kapo. I think... Oh no, Moogles were in the past. Previous one. Moogles? Are you saying you want to help? Kapo. Use us to protect Terra from the guards. Would you like an explanation? Sure. You'll fight using three different groups. Please select to switch between them. Defeat the leader of the guards before his men reach Terra or the battle's lost. Alright. So we're going to keep Locke up here where they can't get past him. And he's just going to fight until... Moogle, 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 Moogle. One of these has... Oh, wait a minute. It's the second one. I forgot to look at their names. I was looking at their races. Mog, Malulu. Okay, so Mog we get later, like he's an actual party member. So I'm going to put Mog second. And I'm not even probably going to use the other one. I'll put the other one in front of her just in case. But now I just sit here and wait until they catch up to me. Um... I want to get them from all sides to see they're coming up from the bottom so they'll get up to me eventually and I'll fight all of them using the characters that will actually gain experience and you know do stuff and I'm going to try to steal try to get some items See, we can get potions and stuff. Ooh, snowstorm? That's not good. Okay. See, now Locke will actually get experience and actually level up because we're going to be using him later as well. 
Actually, maybe I don't steal right now. Maybe I just attack. if they lose, they just get thrown to the back, and then the next team can take the battles. God, that darn snowstorm. That's gonna take out two of them, I think. Or close, yeah. yeah that's, there's one of them gone. I don't want to use up all my healing stuff though, like, he'll get enough experience just from these battles, and then I'll let Mog take the final battle, probably. Because this one will probably knock him out. If he uses Snowstorm again, which he probably will. Yep, see? That's gonna knock them all out. Which is not game over. It just moves them to the back and... Gives them a little bit more, but now Mog's team can fight. Because like I said, Mog will actually come back as a party member later, so if I can get them a little bit of experience now, that'd be cool too. Master a new dance. Okay, that's for Mog, I'm pretty sure. Now, did he get healed all the way? No, they're all at one. So I guess they just wait there. I'll switch to Mog. Mog's got two more battles. Dance, Twilight Requiem. I don't really know what that's supposed to do. Oh wow, Malu is already gone. Oh, okay. But it only hurt the one. Willow Wisp? What? Okay, so it's just gonna keep using abilities, I guess? Nice, okay. It's a pretty effective dance, if I do say so. Darn snowstorm. Snare, okay. Bye, Lobo. I guess that just, like, instant kills them. Alright. Yep. So they're all gone. Now that all that's left is the commander. Way at the back. Let's try this. Okay, good. It wasn't fog. Cool. That'll do. That'll kill one of the Lobos. And the net, he's gonna be stuck there for a minute. Ooh, okay. Cave in. This didn't do much last time. Oh, 315. Wow. Okay. All right, come on, take him out. Snare. Snare can kill him instantly. Oh, it didn't work. Alright, use a good one. Oh, I use snare again. Oh, it worked that time. Okay. Well, Mog was left. We did it. Thanks, Moogles. We're in your debt.
Dum, 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 dum. Switch auto. Huh? You back with us now? You save me? Safe. Save your thanks for the Moogles. I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory? A man said it would come back eventually. So you've got amnesia. Don't worry, I won't leave your side until your memory returns. Hmm? I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I'll keep you safe, I promise. school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. Oh, okay. There's like items and stuff in here, so I do want to go through and kind of check it out. And that heals me. It's water from a recovery spring. It will restore your HP and MP. Blah, 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 blah. Field science. Monster in a box. Oh, it's just a silver logo. The uh, controls in the battle menu are really loose. Alright. Would you let me pass, please? So I'm pretty sure. It's an ether. There's a save spot there. Don't need it yet. Battle tactics, okay. Sleeping bag. Yeah, I don't really need to talk to them about any of this. I just want to go through and get the items. Loot them, if you will. Advanced battle tactics. Potion. Alright, get out of the doorway. I hate it when, like, random NPCs get stuck in the doorway. Alright, so we can leave here. It said something about getting to Figaro, which I believe is in the desert. Couldn't steal. Might want to set this to memory. Yeah. Oh, we got a potion anyway. There's the desert. It's like, we gotta be coming to the desert soon. Hmm. Yeah. Antidotes. I can sell those. And if I can get items from both of them. Yep, now I can just attack. Cool. Sweet. Just go to Figaro. <coughs> halt! Oh, it's you. Proceed. Thank you. The Figaro Castle's engine room is down those stairs. These engines are currently undergoing maintenance, so we can be ready to move at a moment's notice if the need arises. Sorry, I can't let you down there. It's too dangerous. Okay. Just looking for items and such, because usually there's tons of items in castles like this. 
These good-for-nothing brigands have been locked up for thievery, and worse, you best keep a safe distance. Oh, so you won't let me down there, huh? Alright, can't go in those. Yeah, I think we just go have to go straight to them. Oh. Gold needle. Okay, so there's an item shop. I think there's another shop on the other side, too, with weapons for our next character. Take a potion and antidote. He has the auto crossbow. Let's get the noise blaster. And the bio blaster. That's not an entrance to anything. Got a phoenix down. This just takes us out here. And those don't go anywhere. You mean this young woman is? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back to a lady on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution. I always felt like he was, like, flipping you off. <laughs> like, doesn't it look like he's kind of flipping us off? But he's actually just, like, pointing up like this. Totally looks like he's flipping us off. I am Edgar, the King of Figaro. <laughs> Surprised that someone like me knows a king? <laughs> well, I'll catch you two later. So, you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. Hmm? What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm, I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those words. But not me. Now we can go exploring on the left and right sides. There's a couple other things here. We can get, like, the history of Edgar and some other characters. Edgar and his has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Flashback. Edgar, what's wrong with you? Why is everyone talking about a successor? Are you blind? Have you seen how thin his face has become? <coughs> what do you mean? Edgar! Are you crying? Edgar's twin brother who traded the throne for his own freedom. Sabine. <coughs> ah, yes. Sabine. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now and what he's doing. His Highness said he marry me when I get old enough. Oh, jeez. That's not weird. The Gastalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. <coughs> Sorry. 
open. A little tickle in my throat. for items. Hmm. I think I'm remembering secrets and stuff, but I'm trying to remember if it's secrets from 5 or 6. Like, <coughs> I think I'm remembering secrets from Final Fantasy 5. I think we do need to actually go rest up a bit. I think that's how we progress. I think, yeah, we just have Terra right now. cough the whole time. Or maybe not? Hmm. So I learned about Sabine, I rested. The king's brother was so disgusted by the succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. I've heard tell that the entire matter was settled by the flip of a coin. Well, how do you like my castle? King Edgar, there's someone from the Empire here to see you, sire. Kafka, no doubt. Emperor Gestel's stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead, why do you have to live out in the middle of a stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. Hem, there's sand on my boots. All gone, sir. <laughs> How How pathetic. Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? We have an alliance. An alliance with this miserable little, miserable little sand pit? Don't make me laugh. I hear you've been busy down south taking over a country or three. So what is the Empire up to? It's none of your concern. What brings Emperor Gestel's own court mage Kefka to my humble castle? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies. She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar, you know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terra? Take her to, the, to her room. I'd love to stay and chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king is not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. <coughs> Follow me. And then this one you can actually, like, follow them.
Sorry, I, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. And Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a treasure hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-between. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire? But I'm an Imperial soldier! Not anymore. They were using you. That's all. Things are different now. It's just, I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think too hard right now. You know what you'll want. You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. But how will I know which choice is right? on fire. What's going on? It's the Empire. Kefka, he... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, then enjoy the barbecue. Alright. So they'll just keep doing that. Get her ready. Yes, sire. Had a change of heart. Seems I have no choice. Or perhaps I do. Oh my, the brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful. Jump. Alright, sink her into the sand. Yahoo! Figaro dive mode engaged. Witness the glory of Figaro. Kill them. All right. Boss fight from behind. Tools. Auto crossbow to both. We'll steel and will magic. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? D -d did you, you just see what I saw? You did, right? Right? Yeah, that kid's really something, huh? Really something? That was magic. Magic. <laughs> magic? She uses magic? Tara. Your name was Tara, right? What? What exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I... No, we should... We should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. Nor did I. It just... Surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... Doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Terra can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is, her magic could really help us right now. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> Melt. Uh. Uh, 
that noise blaster. Auto. Nice. Two high potions. Bravo, Figaro! Son of a sandworm, you'll pay for this. That was great. Were those bad people? I, I'm scared. Tara, there's someone we'd like you to meet. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be the key to winning this war. Magic... That Esper reacted to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. Tara, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Bannon. He may be able to help you find out more about why you have them. Hmm. Please, Edgar's right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. Alright, so he said to head that way, but I'm actually going to do some other things. Um, but off camera. Like, I'm not going to do them on camera. I will um, continue when we come back next week. Um, so that's pretty much a whole section of this, and we'll do another section in the next one. So I will, I will see you then.